Welcome back. March is Women's History Month, and here at KREX, we're celebrating this year's most remarkable women on the Western Slope. These women were voted on by you, our viewers. Tonight, we have the pleasure of introducing you to one of those women, founder of Amos Counseling, Dr. Marty Amos. What I do is help people as far as mental health, addiction, help them kind of get the right tools, the right direction. Dr. Marty Amos started Amos Counseling over a decade ago in 2012 with her daughter. Little house on Ute Avenue, just her and I, and then we brought another counselor aboard, and it's just systematically grown from there. But the growth of Amos Counseling has been anything but methodical. Then we opened what's called Recovery Coaching. Where Amos Counseling employees support people out in the community one-on-one. -on -one. Then we quickly realized that people could use that sober environment. So Amos Counseling bought four houses where they provide basic needs and help people get jobs while providing shelter. Recently, I recognized that I had a lot of people who would come in, we have a shelf out in front, and it's just some basic peanut butter bread, and people were coming in more and more and just taking stuff off, not even clients or sleeping on my property at night. We had a lot of tents that were coming, people sleeping on the balcony, just trying to get out of the weather. So Marty decided she needed to do even more. So what we did is we went to our team. Our team is amazing and that's all of our therapists, recovery coaches. And instead of traditional raises, what we asked is, can we put that back into the business? That's how the hangout was born. We open up at 3 p.m. We stay open until 9 a.m. So this is through the night. So this is those clients who had nowhere to go. They were sleeping in the parks. They were sleeping on sidewalks. But this is more than just a place to hang out. They come in, they get food, they take a hot shower. We put a laundry service in there because how important it is to have a clean shirt. The hangout opened in August of 2023 and it's already making a difference. Last year, it was said that 22 people died of hypothermia in this valley. That should never have happened. <laughs> So we opened the hangout, so no one died. So far, no one has been reported of dying from hypothermia. The hangout is only one of the ways Amos Counseling helps our community. It's nearly impossible to quantify how many lives Marty Amos has saved or how much time she's given to help others. So why does she do it? Why does she give so much? And with plans for expansion in the future, including another hangout spot, why does she continue to do it? I grew up with a alcoholic father and could never understand like he would say I'm gonna quit drinking I love you I'm gonna do this but he never could make that threshold and so growing up I was kind of bitter and then in college I didn't start off to be a therapist it just happened that way I just one day volunteered and went hold on maybe I should be a therapist and really got to understand this community and when they say they're struggling they really are struggling it's not just a if you love me you can quit thing and that's why marty amos is one of the most remarkable women on the western slope this is my motto honestly is love and grace and so you see people that are struggling instead of turning away or hoping someone else will help for me it's that if not me who what was your reaction when you found out you were nominated who that was tough because i had no idea that People around me noticed that I was in the trenches with them and that it made a difference. It was very humbling. Michael Lagerwell, KREX 5 News. Make sure you tune in on Tuesday, April 2nd, when we'll announce our winner and the Western Slope's most remarkable woman of 2024. You won't want to miss it, and we'll have more news coming up right after the break. Stay with us.